everyone. I'm Verna Tabladillo. I'm your host on today's show, Things You Should Know. I'm here with Isaac Nielsen, who is a graduate at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, who completed his bachelor's degree in the healthcare administration program and is now applying and getting ready for his dream job. And please welcome Isaac Nielsen. Hi, Verna. Nice to see you. Thanks for having me. Thanks appreciate for it. Being on the show. Yes, of course. I'm so excited. So I hear and understand that you're applying for your dream job. Yes, uh, it's my first time applying. My first job. Just graduated, and I'm excited to get started on my career. Would you like to tell everybody um, what did you do to prepare for this day? Of course. Yeah. So. Hi. Oh, sorry, I was gonna fist bump you. Yeah, go ahead and have a seat. Thank you. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'm great. Um, let's begin our interview. Okay. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, come from a really big family. Um, I did some time in the Marine Corps for a little while. Um, I worked in health care for a little bit, but it was a bad hospital, so I didn't really learn too much. Um, and then I went to school and I graduated, um, did a right there as well, um, so these get degrees, so it's, yeah, but yeah. All right. Tell me what your biggest strength um, is. Um, wow, I like that question. Um, my biggest strength is definitely my muscles. Um, I've been told that at my last job. Um, because I could really pick up like all the heavy packages of paper in the, in the office and I could really um, reach things that are really high that are heavy and stuff and bring them down. Uh, my delts are in great shape so yeah. Okay. Um, how would you define a successful administrator? Um, I mean just kind of like just doing your role kind of you know just like just make sure you come to work and do your work, um, and then that's really about it. Okay. Give me one second here. How would you ensure that modern technology is aligned from top to bottom and is implemented within the hospital? Um, just, I guess, just staying a part of uh, what our supervisors give us and just staying in tune with it. Um, I, I play like a lot of video games, and I know that stuff advances really fast. So I just like I guess just the hospital just bought the newest technologies. So you kind of just have to go with it and learn it. Okay. And last but not least, do you have any questions for me? Um. Hmm. Any questions? Yeah, actually, I heard you guys have a really awesome uh, Christmas party. Like, how is that? Well, um, you're the first candidate to ask that. Um, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. We don't normally plan that at this time. Okay. But um, we'll let you know. All right. Fantastic. Any further questions? That's all I really have. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. And you have a oh, good, good rest of your day. You too. Bye bye. Obviously, as you can see, that was not the proper way to execute an interview. Now let's have Isaac. Retry this interview again. Hi, Isaac. My name is Sakura. Nice Hi, to meet you. Hi, Sakura. Nice to meet you. Go ahead and have a seat. Thank you so much. I actually have some documents for you. HR told me to bring them. Oh, perfect. And then I also have a copy of my resume, just in case you didn't have one in front of you. Thank you. You're very All welcome. right. So let's begin. Tell me a little bit about yourself. So I did six and a half years in the Marine Corps. Recently got out, and then I pursued full time in school to pick up on my degree, which is health administration. So, new graduate, I'm really excited to get moving in this career field. It's very motivated and driven, and uh, I can't wait to start with your company. Great. Okay, and um, tell me what you think that your biggest strength is. My biggest strength is never saying that's not my job. I know it's not necessarily a trait, maybe, but um, I think it's very proper to, as a health administrator, to take on multiple things if you can um, and work on those and grow within the company. And that's the only way you're going to grow. I know you guys' this company has a lot of uh, fantastic leaders and I'm excited to learn from them. So uh, take on multiple jobs and 
get the job done correctly. Great. And how would you define a successful administrator? Successful administrator would be someone that puts in the work and puts in the time. Um, <clears throat> I know some things can be a little bit time consuming in administration and uh, maybe processes take a long time, but you have to be willing to put in the time to do it and to accomplish your goals and accomplish your work. Um, I'm really dedicated to doing that, um, especially being young in my development in this career, and I'm excited to uh, take part in that and um, help this company grow as well. So Great. Okay. And with modern technology evolving, how would you ensure that this company has that modern technology to provide to patients? Um, I guess that could be kind of difficult in some ways, uh, just because the technology field is growing so rapidly. There's multiple ways that you can go about it. Um, I mean, you can keep up on readings and, and forums and all that type of things. Um, I am part of a group called the uh, College of Healthcare Executives, mm. um, and they do have their own forums, they do have their own uh, meetings and stuff like that, and they go over things like this all the time because because the field is growing so fast. Um, Great. So I, I keep up with it that way. Um, I do my own research as well. Um, I do want to move up in this hospital or in this facility one day, and I in order to do that, you, you need to keep up with it. So you just kind of have to make it a priority in doing that. So Great. Okay. And last question, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, so uh, what's the process like after this? So after this, we have a few more candidates to okay. interview, um, and that'll take about one to two weeks. So after the one to two weeks, you'll be hearing from me. I will contact you and let you know about the position and what's gonna happen after that. And so you'll be hearing from me in no more than three weeks. Okay, fantastic, cool. Yeah. Um, and then actually, uh, I have another question as well. So I currently have health insurance, and I do have a 401 K plan uh, okay. with my current employer. Um, how does that transfer work, or how does what's the process like when I get hired on exactly? So, because you just said you have a four hundred one k, that is easily transferable. So, you, it'll be perfectly fine. All your benefits will transfer, and um, it's a three month probation period. So, after that, you'll be golden. Oh, fantastic! Mm -hmm. All right, that's wonderful. And that's all and the questions I have. Other questions? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much for this. Yeah. I will get in contact with you, and you have a good rest of your day. Okay. Thank you, Sakura. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye. So that was a proper way to interview. Thank you so much for watching Things You Should Know. Until next time, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Here's a few bloopers and fun facts. Enjoy. And please welcome Isaac Nielsen. Hello. Oh, shit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> to interview. Was I supposed to move? <laughs> <laughs> I think you should say like. Okay. How would um? What would you consider your biggest strength? Uh, my biggest strength. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Uh, I love when girls ask me that question. Um, I would probably say my muscles. Are like, cause <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and my last question, do you have any questions for me? Yeah, actually, um, so my first question is, wow, I forgot my own questions. <laughs> okay, pause. <clears throat> I hate doing retakes, guys. It's okay, you got it. <laughs> oh, let's start over, let's start over. That one. <laughs> In the healthcare administration program. You got it, that one little.